Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm with Jethro. We walked into a park. It is about 7.35, 7.40 in the morning. And last night from a distance, we seen a mountain that looked particularly cool. Yeah. Uh, a very high peak. And we seen one building on top, which kind of led us to believe that we could go to the top. And we asked like a few different people around the area. And they said, ah, yes, you can. We learned about it and decided that uh, we wanted to go here. So here we are the next morning. Our goal is basically to get to that mountain because it's really cool. So everywhere in China, I've noticed men, women, everyone slaps themselves. They like, yes, that. They hit their arms, they hit their leg, they hit, hit the back of their neck. Yeah, the cheek. For what reason? Like, why do people injure themselves? I can't understand this. We hate ourselves. You hate yourselves. It's a way like a massage. Just That's a massage. Yeah, so massage slapping way. yourself. Yeah. That is definitely not a massage. So, like, to rub your arm and squeeze the muscle and relax the muscle is a massage. Yeah. But to punch yourself and slap yourself? Yeah, it's also a, a, a way of, yeah, you can hear massage and a massage this way. In, in China. So the logic is because it feels good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Weird. Do you want to ride the boats? Or swim? No, you can get on this little boat. They have these like paddle boats. They look so old, it looks like they haven't used them in years. They're all full of dust and stuff, so I'm not even sure it works. Awesome. So we found a restaurant to come near to film, actually. Yeah. Let's fly the drone. Oh, oh God, that baby, that baby better not fall in or he's going to become lunch. Every three minutes you hear someone somewhere at the top of the mountain, across the river, they scream at the top of their lungs just to like, I don't know, announcing to the world that I am here. They don't say a word, do they? It's just like making a noise. It's just for, I, I don't know, you say it's because they were practicing to sing, but then what the hell was that? It's just, but to him it's normal. He's like, yeah, why is this, why, why do you think this is crazy? And for me, it's like, what the hell are they doing? So this place is ridiculously beautiful. You can see the backdrop from the, the boat restaurant, walking across the bridge, like everywhere we go is like magical. It's so beautiful. So we, basically we're done kind of exploring down here. Now we're going to try to go up and uh, see if we can get to the top of this mountain. Do you have enough energy for it today? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, if I don't have energy, I will ask someone to give me the energy. <laughs> so you were talking to the old man for a moment. What uh, what words of wisdom did he give you? He said he's very familiar with this mountain. This is the toppest mountain in all the mountains. Oh, it's the tallest? It is, yeah, tallest. Okay. So, highest. So he said, okay, yeah, you, you just f go from this way and you will find a gate there and so up and down. I think it would maybe take me uh, tw uh, an hour. He said, no, 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 maybe half an hour, that's enough. Okay. Okay, then he said, you should go to another one. It's at the end of this, okay. that direction. This, that is another mountain. And it said, because I have a lot of ancient temple or something like that okay. on the top of that mountain. He said, if you travel, uh, finish all to these two mountains, it's okay, that down is about this. This is the most important okay. things about in this garden. Okay, interesting. Cool, yeah. yeah. So basically it's, what, almost 9 o'clock maybe? Yeah, 8.30. It's 8.30 and we have to check out of our hotel at 12 o'clock. No, so you, you don't worry about that. Oh. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, if it's late, I just pay money. No, no don't oh. worry about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are your legs burning yet? Yes, burning. Yeah, mine are too. <laughs> because the drone. Yeah, it's heavy. Heavy. <laughs> It's so amazing thing for you because you choose, okay, I want to go to this mountain. This is the tallest mountain. You know, it's just a random, we chose it at random. I chose it because it was tall. <laughs> I'm quite surprised how many particularly old or even elderly people I see in China when we walk up a mountain, hike a mountain, 
how many old people there are. Like, it puts America to shame. You usually don't see a 70, 75 year old person hiking up a mountain, but she was. We have this way or this way. Which way do we go? This way. <laughs> Back down? No. So we took the wrong way, I no, guess. No, wrong way. This is the right way. Oh, well, we went some way. We went to a cave, like a temple cave thing. People were praying in there, and there was bats flying all over the top, and bats hanging onto the wall. It's kind of cool. The old man told me that there were used to be a lot of ancient temples on the top of the mountain because this is the top, toughest one, yeah. But because of their, in the special time in China's history, I mean, the the government destroyed all the temples. So now this is the new ones. Uh, so yeah. The views are getting more and more amazing. We're almost at the top. Look at all the dragonflies. There's just hundreds of them. I think we found it. What do you think? Beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I don't know. I'm not very interested in the camera. Good. 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 The little boy gave me a cupcake. This is a candy. <laughs> wow. It's like a... What do you call this? Like a, an angel food cake. You know what that is. So we finally made it to the top. We seen the absolutely amazing views from that small gazebo at the very top. What did you think? Yeah, I think it's so beautiful. So beautiful. That's all. That's all the. I like the. Job. That's your description. Yeah, Just so beautiful. It's hard for me to find any other proper word. <laughs> proper. It literally was awesome. That yeah. area. We were up there for probably what 40 minutes. Yeah. Close to 40 minutes. Little boy came up to me and gave me one of his cupcakes and then he gave me one of his bigger angel food cakes and then he tried to give me a potato <laughs> and then another angel food cake and I was like no 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 my gosh we can't I'm going to explode I'm so full um, we took a few drone shots relaxed for a bit and actually now we're on our way down and we're just seeing some more beautiful views on the way down it's just absolutely amazing yeah so basically at the bottom of the hill we see like a another temple area where people are praying and using incense sticks and you said basically people come here to pray or make wishes about good but, grades uh, yeah about the examination about the schools but uh, studying for uh, related to education yeah i've seen since we've been through here lots of children come up and they were even carrying bags of incense sticks. yeah the last section We made, you, what are you, almost, you almost tipped the boat over, yeah? Yeah, so a hippo. Such a hippo. Awesome. awesome. So basically, we're on a boat. And we have an English speaking guide, yeah? <laughs> a little English. Amazing. Um, so basically, we're going to go for a little cruise in the cave. Okay, that does look like a fish. Yeah. In China, they always make the, the rock formations into animals. Elephant. This is an elephant? Yeah. This elephant is what? Elephant with bottom. The elephant butt. Oh, the elephant butt. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he yeah. says that the, the cave was discovered about a thousand years ago. Yeah, it's very uh, short in here, especially for this tall American. Some of the red writing that you see, he says, is about a thousand years old. Not all of them, but some of them. So we finished up the boat tour. Now we are kind of walking along this bridge. It's kind of cool. So. 
So I think we found the room that they were talking about that has the writing from a thousand years ago. Does anyone like bats? All of those black dots are bats. So okay, what's what hour is the pram? I want to go to the at the exit now at the entrance of gate, and maybe we can take the bars around the here. Thirty minutes. I mean, all the park. I want to go around all the park. Okay. Okay. Let's find the bus. Welcome to a boat in the middle of a small lake next to the mountain that we just climbed. We're uh, out exploring. We have an electric boat. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Basically, it has forward and reverse and a steering wheel. That's it. It's super basic. And you cannot turn when you're going in reverse, I learned. And so I crashed into another boat. So that's awesome. You want to learn how to drive? Yeah, I know. I never try. Uh, okay, get, get out of here. <laughs> He doesn't drive. What should I do? This is the first time Jethro is driving anything yeah, ever in his entire life. I'm just worried about just like the way out. Look out! Ah! <laughs> just kidding, there's nothing. So this way is this yeah, way. Yeah, turn. Go a little bit that way. Slowly. And remember this is sensitive, so yeah. you gotta turn slow. Just like that. Yeah. Do you see how it's, it's a very slow turn? Ah. Uh, yeah. F in the UK. It reacts very slowly in the water, it's not a car. For five minutes! How do you feel? Are you confident or are you still nervous? I'm confident because Brock is <laughs> beside me! Yes! I'm so crazy now! So Jethro's going to attempt to go through that hole without crashing. But I'm a little bit worried about that thing. Are yeah, you a little nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. Well, you're, yeah, you're doing fine. The wind is kind of blowing us this way. So, yep, just keep going straight and the wind should, maybe not, you might have to turn just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little. Okay. Now go back. Straight. Just keep going straight. Good thing we can... Wow, look, look at this. this. Oh my god, yeah, we got through it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, it's amazing. Water is so warm. So that was your first time driving anything with an engine? Yes. Yeah. yeah not first time because I, I have one experience to learn how to drive a car. Really? Because I, I, I paid it 3000 and I just learned once and then I don't want because the driver, the, the tutor always said, Oh, you're so stupid. Oh, I'm not doing it. Okay. So this is the first time you're driving a boat? Yeah. yeah. yeah of course. How was the so feeling? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it scary? Yeah. It, uh, at first I don't scary because without any obstacles at all, it's so easy. It's just like a toy yeah. or something. Yeah. But then when we pass through this... The bridge? That the bridge, okay, on, the, on it. Oh my god, I'm a fear a little bit. Yeah, heart attack or something. Heart, right? A little bit heart attack? But yeah, I'm fear so comfortable because Brock is here. He's oh, a captain. Yeah. He's a pilot. So yeah, with that, with him, no problem. So no problem. problem. No, no problem. problem. No problem. I was more concerned about the roof hitting the bottom of the bridge, but it yeah. was okay. So we took a trip back to the hotel, packed our bags and checked out of the hotel and we're going to eat uh, noodles, yeah? Noodles yeah. and looks like seaweed maybe. Yeah. Seaweed? Yeah. Is that what you ordered? Noodles and seaweed? Yeah. So we found a restaurant, ate some Japanese food. Yeah. Way too much food like always. Now we're basically waiting for our taxi yeah. to take us back Good. to Shinchin. Yeah. So what was your uh, favorite part about today, specifically today? Today is a uh, drone. Anything with drone, yeah, two parts, the wind we uh, stay on the boat. Yeah. And also, and we're on top of the mountain. Oh, yeah, because you got to drive today. Yeah. That was so, fun. Yeah, it's, it's related to a drone. That's... Yeah, I would say my favorite part was getting to the very top of the highest part of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. That was literally, literally epic. The view was stunning, just like, whoa, yeah. I thought so. Yeah, the shots of the drone was pretty cool. That 
that definitely helped. So I posted on my WeChat moment. Oh yeah. My friend said, "Oh my God, now your your charm is the level of the charm is quite different now. Yeah, yeah. You're using drums, okay? <laughs> totally. so, yeah, of course. Yeah. You're famous on WeChat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of people just praise uh, praise for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, 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 or, like, 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 or give you a heart uh, or something. Yeah, a lot of hearts. Amazing. <laughs> well, that's it. We're gonna sign off, call it a day, and uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed coming along with us. Uh, if you're able to support the channel in any way, check the description below. I like this t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the time is running out. Okay. Also, don't forget to buy a shirt if you don't have one already. And take a photo of yourself and send it to me. And then I can share it on like social media or something. It'll be fun. Anyway, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living. Yeah. Start traveling. Take care. Start visiting China. <laughs> one more, one more. Okay. Start what? Start eating. Stop working. Yeah. <laughs>